Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another unboxing and review of the Spartan Collection Series 2 Jerome 6-inch figure by Wicked Cool Toys. Jerome is one of four new figures in this Spartan Collection line. I previously reviewed Emil. So be sure to check that out. Link in the description below. The box and the box art are similar to what we've seen in Series 1. Moving to the back of the box, you can see all four figures, new figures that are in this Series 2. Spartan Mark V, Emil, and Spartan Gunganeer. We also have two Master Chiefs that come in a case of six figures. So these four new figures and two Master Chiefs. These are hitting Target stores. and I found this in my Target in Southern California. Without further ado, let's get him out of his plastic sarcophagus. Here is Jerome out of the packaging in all of his glory. I messed around with him for a little bit, kind of played with the joints, interchanged some of the weapons, the hands, and some of his other features that we will go over. And he is amazing, just like the other figures before him. Amazing sculpt and detail. You can tell they really put their heart and soul into making this sculpt just right. Um, something I do want to point out is there was some controversy about uh, his his stamping up here being 082 instead of 092. And so I want to kind of sh set the record straight. We do have 092 and not 082. Um, so I know there was a little bit of controversy with that, um, but it is true to the character 092. We have that red striping throughout being part of the red team. You can see some of that metallic etched weathering a little bit more heavy on this figure as opposed to what we saw with uh, Emil. Uh, Either way, still looks great. A little bit of aftermarket weathering goes, again, a long way with this figure. Right now, I have holstered uh, the M90 shotgun on the back. We will go over how that is inserted into the back of the figure. On the right-hand side, you can see that Spartan logo right here on that right shoulder pad looking great. Again, great attention to detail. And lastly, moving into the front of the face shield, you can see that metallic face shield there. Again, they, they continued on with that metallic visor. Love that, and uh, it's just a true homage to these Halo figures. Again, the articulation on these figures is going to be the same of what we've seen previously. Some have a little bit more range of motion than others, depending on the clunking bulkiness of their armor setting. So here, I want to point out again that the joints on these figures so far are not feeling loose, overly loose. There's nothing, there's not anything, any real big play. The only thing that I've noticed on this figure in particular, but this is probably just maybe my figure, is my butterfly joints come in just very slightly um a little bit more loose but i mean not anything too crazy it's not going to affect the figure where i can't um holster a weapon or anything like that or or not be able to hold the weapon up properly so i just noticed that these are a little bit loose um, but that's pretty much it as far as joints go Looking at the legs, the posability should be the same of what we've seen previously coming out. Um, some figures are going to have better range of motion than others, so that's about as far out lateral as we can go. Ball and socket joints. Again, we have internal rotation. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rotation there. Internal potty dance rotation, and then we have external rotation coming out this way. And then we can bring these legs up in a seated position. We have double joints again right here, so we can bend from the knee coming down and around and then bringing that all the way up this way and I'm going to extend this leg back and that's about as much range of motion coming backwards we have the toe joint here which we can take this up and bring this on down also the foot great range of motion we can go lateral around we can also spin this all the way around we have little peg holes I'm sure we'll probably get something in the in the future okay bring that leg all the way forward Again, joints are feeling nice and stiff. Love that. It's what we wanted. Moving into the torso, we have a little bit of rotation, turning rotation here. A little bit more than the, what I saw with Emil. And then we can come all the way around this way. Good. And let's see how flexion goes. Let's see, move that arm up. A little bit of flexion coming backwards and forward. Nothing too crazy. Into the arms, we can bring these arms up. Again, ball and socket joints. These arms are feeling nice and stiff. Again, my only thing that I have on this figure is um, 
just my butterfly joint seems to be a little bit more on the loose side. Nothing too crazy. It's not going to affect my figure um, to holster the weapon. Um, I did do a lot of holstering off camera. Uh, we have a ball here so we can take this shoulder joint and rotate all the way around so I can actually bring that arm up that way uh, a little bit and then I can bring that all the way back and around and then if I were to hold that ball socket right there I can also turn the bicep all the way around so I have rotation there we have two joints here we can bend from the elbow coming up and then also bend from the hand we can bring this ball in doing like a chest fly type of deal bringing that out no hyperextension this way. We have flexion coming from the wrist right here, up forward, and we can also have rotation. Same exact thing will be applied onto the right arm. Bring the arm on down. Looks great, great range of motion. Here's a good look at the Spartan stamp right there. Moving into the head, we have some paint applications for the lights. Nice mirrored visor yet once again. Glad they're keeping this mirrored visor throughout this figure line. Top of the head, we have a um, some more of that metal weathering and then also the red stripe coming down, which is what we've seen with him. Moving to the back, part of the armor, neck guard right there. As far as rotation goes, we have a small hyperextension moving backwards and then we can also bring this moving forward. Nice stiff joint yet once again. And we should be able to do a full 360 and yep 360 degrees great great rotation we don't have any real side to side this way but we can turn the head all different ways nice little ball and socket throughout moving into the back of jerome we can get a good look at the sculpt and the detail throughout here is the pin slot that we have that we can put any type of weapon that has a pinhole on it so this one's going to be a little bit different than what we saw with uh, emil this one is more of a um, squared uh, kind of rectangle type of, of back placement. All we have to do is take that out, place that directly through the, in the back where it was seated before. The pin sticks out. I can go ahead and take the M90 shotgun, little pin right there, place that right in there. It's going to fit nice and snug. It's not loose, which is great. And that'll sit and rest just like that. To remove the weapon from Jerome, all I have to do is just take off the shotgun. The pin came off with it, which is fine. Take off the pin from the weapon. Place that directly into the back of Jerome, and it seats uh, pretty flush. Nice. Looking at both lower extremities, we have a side thigh piece, which we can take off from both sides. And once I take that off, just like what we saw with Emil, is we can bring this off, flip it all the way around, and then we can actually place the M6 little pistol on there, this little hole. Sits in there just nice and flush. And we can also put that on the opposite side. I could take this pin out. So that's great. So maybe one side we can put maybe like a plasma pistol and then the other side we can put the pistol itself. And just for fun, I put the pistol on the right leg. And then how about the shotgun <laughs> on the left leg? You know, little a little side carry that way. And with every Spartan Collection figure, they are generous enough to send us five additional hands. These are the hands that came in the packaging on Jerome himself. These are the weapon holding hands. Here are the open palm or I'm going to slap you hands. These are the closed fist I'm going to fight you hands. And finally, the command or directional hand. Looking at Jerome's hands, there are some differences between his hands versus Emil's hands and Master Chief's hands. Uh, you can see there's more of a textured, more of a spiky type of look to the hands as opposed to Emil here it has more of a smooth type of uh, look to the, to the top of the hand and then Master Chief has more of that iconic uh, pitted armor throughout. Something I discussed in Emil's video, there are some running changes with the hand attachments on the pegs. On the newer Series 2, there are a shorter and more of a thicker type of peg with two ribs. And then previously on Series 1, there is a little bit of a longer, still two ribbed, a smaller peg that goes into the actual uh, wrist joint itself. Moving into the weapons, these are the two firearms that Jerome has had iconically throughout the series. We have the M90 shotgun right here. Again, I've been super impressed with the sculpt and details that Jazzwares and the Halo team have done throughout these firearms. Um, the only thing that I've been requesting is more of a paint application or detail, but on this M90 shotgun, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Honestly, it looks really good throughout. Um, again, I can't get an, enough of the sculpt and mold throughout this shotgun. 
Moving into the Magnum, the details are not skimped out on this by any means. Great little sculpt and mold. We have a two color tone, kind of like a brushed metallic look to the top of the slide. And also the trigger guard has that nice two tonal black moving into the opposite side. We have the peg hole, some nice little serrations right here for this, for the back part of the slide. And then little details throughout the grip of the pistol. Here are some side-by-side -side comparisons of Jerome. Uh, he is one of the taller Spartans. I believe he is about seven foot tall, uh, matching Master Chief. So let's do a height comparison. Looks to be about seven and a quarter or so, and Chief should be uh, right above that range. And then we have Emil right here, slightly shorter, and then we also have Cat, also slightly shorter. Let's take Chief out and let's replace him with, how about a Star Wars Black Series figure standing next to Jerome? Pretty short. We'll take him out and let's put uh, Halo 3 McFarland figure, five inch figure, <laughs> super short. And how about an old Joyride Halo 2 figure, an old classic with one of the mirrored visors. Super tall, but again, these weren't uh, to scale at that time. Head to toe, Jerome is a fantastic figure, a piece you should be proud of to have in your Halo collection. I do have a small gripe about this figure, and it is something that I talked about briefly in Emil's video, and that is his weapon holding hand. Looking at his right hand right here, there is lack of a trigger finger. Now, within these five hands, there isn't anything that is really designated for a trigger finger to rest against the guard or inside of the guard. It is something that, that I would have liked to have seen uh, implemented within at least one of these five hands. Um, at the end of the day, I can always, I guess, just cut along this index finger here, but um, it is something that I would have liked to have seen implemented in this figure already. All right, everyone, that wraps up the review and unboxing of the new Spartan Collection Series 2 6-inch Jerome figure by Jazzwares. Overall thoughts on this figure, $19.99 price point comes with five additional hands, two weapons, and an amazing sculpt from head to toe. What could be better than the Halo team at Jazzwares who listened to our pleads and cries from Series 1? They helped fix the joints, made tighter joints, painted pinholes and better wrist articulation better stiffness in the wrists um, i couldn't be happier about this figure and what they've been doing moving forward with that again my only gripes is going to be that right trigger finger i wish that within one of these five additional hands we had a trigger finger to seat the shotgun more proper but hey that's okay we can always adjust it later on down the line be sure to check me out on Instagram. My name is Nostalgic Adam, all one word, where I do toy photography, toy hunts, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. Be on the lookout for this Jerome figure at your local Target. I found it at mine in Southern California. I will have posted the links below at your Target app to find this figure. It is not live yet, but click the notification on your app, and it will let you know when that goes into stock. Other than that, I will see y'all in the next video.